At the end of a week that was totally defined by the Fed, we finally got a respite from the Fed chatter today. Even when it's positive, there's only so much I can handle before I need a break. Without the interest speculation, the averages took a breather, too. With the Dow advancing 38 points, S&P dipping 0.19%, NASDAQ declining 0.36%. But going forward, we're still very much in the hands of the Federal Reserve. When Fed officials talk, the market's going to listen. And it should listen. I've just been through these cycles so many times that I wish they left all the public communication to Jay Powell. Sometimes it feels like the Federal Market Committee is a little too small D, so to speak, okay? Uh, that means Democratic. I'm not saying Chairman Powell should take a page from Chairman Mao. But when it comes to free speech for regional Fed presidents, maybe they should just keep their mouths shut. All right, we've gotten uh, we got a lot of stuff here in mind for the next week's gate plan because you'll quickly see what I mean. On Monday, the Fed speakers resume their dominance over the stock market media cycle, even as we'll wish they didn't once we parse the words of Raphael Bostic, the president of the Atlanta Fed, Austin Goolsby, the president of the Chicago Fed. They'll explain why the Fed busts us with a 50 basis point double rate cut, not the mere 25 basis points that most of us were expecting until last week. You know me, I think this whole game is a sideshow. It's a sideshow that freezes you from buying the stocks of terrific companies when their stocks are down. Of course, the main event on Monday will be the initial tally of how many iPhone 16s Apple managed to sell over the weekend. I know this is a tawdry game where invariably we're given more reasons to sell the stock of Apple than buy it. All I can say is that's how nearly all these iPhone launches have played out, both the good and the bad. So please, don't let this interim data sucker you out of your position. Again, own Apple, don't trade it. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Cramer on X. Have a question? Tweet Cramer. Hashtag Mad Mentions. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com. Or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.